Ray explain to people that we had this hole made per the, your specifications and now you're excavating it and getting it ready? Yeah, we're, uh, we go in and we uh, dig it out uh, after y'all form it, put the, the uh, <clears throat> post of your cables, you put the deadheads in it and we go in and we dig it out and then we go down five feet and uh, drop the shelter in. We put 3,500 to 4,000 pounds of concrete underneath it and around it. It's kind of like a bomb shelter when we're done. And it's got roller slider doors. Holds uh, this this one here will hold eight people. And um, it plus a few bottles of wine. Well, wine and water. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wine and water. And um, with the change in weather weather now, uh, it's this is the best way to go underground. This is uh, you can drive over it. You know, you can you got plenty of room. You, you know. So so when you're finished, this shelter is is only going to be just a half inch above the garage floor, correct? Yes, that's true. Uh, it's about a half inch above it. That way, water. It's got a flange kit that goes around it. Water won't go inside of it. Uh, we seal it, and all the water. Of course, the garage floors are sloped down, so water runs down, and water won't get inside of it. It runs around it. So you can actually drive your car in here, pull your car up, and still have room to get in the storm shelter if it's necessary. Absolutely. Uh, actually, each door holds 4,500 pounds of uh, weight, too. So if you accidentally drive on top of it, you won't hurt the doors. Uh, we've installed quite a few of these in Texas last year. And they install a lot of them in Oklahoma. But in Texas, we have to deal with the post tension cables. And uh, so it can be done. Uh, but it really makes it nice when you have a new slab and you can go ahead and form it out because then all you have to do is just come in and dig it out. Yes, yes. And, well, I actually enjoy this because I don't have to deal with the, you know, cutting the uh, postage of cable. So I actually, uh, this is, uh, we've got about 20 right now that's like this. Uh, but we also go in and we cut the slab and, and fix the postage of cable bag. And here's the final result of our storm shelter. Now, might not be too bad to be in here during a tornado. What do you think? <laughs>